Science, in this video, let's find the LCM, least common multiple, and the greatest common factor of 18 and 27. And I like to use a factor tree. So let's get started. Uh, 2 times 9 equals 18. Circle the 2, it's prime. And then 3 times 3 is 9, and they're both prime. Now for 27, um, let's go 3. Uh, what is that? 8. 9, 18 times 9 equals 27, circle the 3, because that is prime. And then 3 times 3 equals 9. So now I create a chart, and this makes it really easy. Okay, so I write all the prime numbers. First, I'm going to start with 18. I have 2, 3, and 3. And then for 27, I have 3. I'm going to skip the 2 and a 3 and a 3. So I have all my prime numbers now uh, written down. Now for the least common multiple, remember, as a minimum, it's got to be greater than the larger number because it's a multiple of these numbers. So what you do is you bring down all the prime numbers, except if you have a pair, since we have a pair of numbers, you only bring down one. So I have a pair of threes, so I'll bring down one three, a pair of threes, bring down one three, and then bring down the three. Now all you do is multiply these together. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. And then 18 times 3 is 54. So that's the LCM. Now I can use the very same chart in order to find the greatest common factor. And I'll show you how. Now, the greatest common factor is the greatest factor that will divide into 18 and 27 evenly. So in order to find that, you look for vertical pairs. And so, again, vertical pairs because I have two numbers. I have a pair of numbers. If I had three, I'd have to find triplets. So two will not work. These three are vertical pairs, so I'll write this three. This is a vertical pair, so I'll write this three. And then we can't use this three right here. So then 3 times 3 is 9. So the GCF of 18 and 27 equals 9. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.